Jello. Okay, that was. Excuse me. I showed you that. Uh, Christian, you, you still gotta find Adam Sandler films so we can talk about. Okay. I'm Adam Sandler. You put you put you put that. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh man, I love that video so much. Dandler, oh. Adam Dandler movies. Adam Dandler, Ralph. Nice. Well, excuse me. All right. Hey, excuse so, me. <laughs> <laughs> there's Grown Ups. Okay. I like Grown Ups. Just go with it. That movie was all right. Just Which one was go, Just Go With It? That was one where he was a dentist. I, what? Or a plastic surgeon. I don't think I've seen that one. Got a. I gotta adjust my mic. Sorry got about a, that. Got a what's her name? Uh, that. Uh uh uh. Oh, Jennifer Anderson. Ooh. Happy Gilmore. Okay. Blended, where they go to that trip in Africa. Um. Old, like 2014. You, is that? Yes, that is old. That's 10 years. Oh my God, that's almost 10 not, years ago. No. Yeah, it's 2021. Three years. That's 10 years. Jesus. That's crazy to think about. Huh. 51st dates. That's a good movie. That was a great movie. But uh, that movie sucks because I think it spoiled. What what movie was it? I think they spoiled um, one of M Night Shyamalan's like good movies. What is it? The Village Signs. What's the other one everyone knows? Uh, I see dead people. What's that movie? Bruce Willis. Uh, the Fifth Sense. Yeah. Or the that, Sixth the, Sense or something like that. The, I think it's the Sixth the, Sense. The Fifth Element. No, it's the no, Sixth no, no. Sense. The sixth Fifth sense. Element also has Bruce Willis. It does. It yeah. has Chris Tucker, but. Completely different. Yeah, but that um, the reason why I don't like Fifty First Dates because that movie does spoil like the twist of that movie. How? It, I won't say because it it's such a classic. Like people have to see it. But there's a certain part in the movie I'll explain later on where like in Fifty First Dates. Yeah, like in the background on the TV, in like one of the scenes, like it's showing the movie, and it's and it spoils like the the big cliffhanger of the movie. I haven't seen this since in a long time. Or the sixth sense. I'll, I think I'll explain it when um when we see it, but or when the episode's done. Sorry, uh, it, it'd be like as if we're watching a movie and it's just like it shows the iconic like no, I am your father, like spoiling that all the oh. time, which is basically what every form of media does nowadays. You know what I mean? Yeah, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and then there's uncut gems. We already talked about that. Good movie. Great one. Grown ups too. I liked it. I don't like any of the Grown Ups movies. Big Daddy. I love it. That's a good movie. That movie still, like, manages to... You know, I didn't like Billy Madison. That was the one where he, like, goes back to school and all that, right? Mm-hmm. Really? Well, you didn't like that one? Of it. I liked it. My favorite part was when... Was it Chris Farley? When he's in the bus and he's just, like... He's telling the kids, like, be quiet. And they're like, shut up, fat man. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then there's That's My Boy. That's whoa, which one is that one? That's the one with that Andy one. Samberg. I don't think I've seen that one. Oh, dude, it's great. He pre impregnates his teacher. Oh, in, okay. Uh, middle school or something like that. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Very strange premise there, Mr. Adam Sandler. Well, it was a. Okay, but what else? Though? And then there's Click. I love Click. I, it's a love-hate thing with that. I liked it. I haven't seen it in a while, so that's probably why <laughs> I, I might like it. Probably because because I saw it just this past winter because it was on Netflix, and when I saw it, I was like, yeah. I was 30 <laughs> minutes in, I was like, I cannot fucking fit. I reached the part when he got the remote, and even then, I was just like, this is bad. I'm not gonna finish this movie. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Real quick, it was after because that's when he was, remember he was in the car messing with like the. Like, oh. He turns it so green. You. Yeah, he's like, "Oh, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry." <laughs> like that stuff. I'm like, "That's that's top tier comedy right here." <laughs> right, there's you don't mess with the Zohan, the hairstylist one. That movie. That movie is funny as fuck. It's so dumb. His butt cheeks. He, he's trying to. It's, it's like funny. that movie. He was trying to be like the next Sasha Baron Cohen. Whoever that is. Uh, Borat. Oh yeah, yeah, he was, but it was funny. I liked it. Uh, Hotel Transylvania. Yeah, the first one's good. Yeah, that's the only one I like. It's, it's not, like, bad, but it's not good. It's, like, very much, like, if it's on, I won't complain, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's a murder mystery, which I haven't seen. That's the one... Is that also with Jennifer Aniston? Yeah. Okay. 
there's The Wedding Singer. That's a good movie. That's actually. Yeah, like, I haven't watched that all the way through. That's like, I think it's probably one of my favorite Adam Sandler movies, honestly. Really? Because it's one of those movies where it's not like him trying to be like, oh, I'm this good guy. I'm completely good guy. No fault wrong. And like, oh, I win my father's fortune. Because a lot of movies, a lot of his movies are like that. But that movie is just like a, kind of a very wholesome, like, hmm. okay, I get it. There's uh, The Water Boy. I love it. I, have, I haven't seen that movie in like forever, so. Great. I did not like Jack and Jill. No, fuck that. That, that movie, movie sucks. sucks ass, and I can't believe Al, Al Pacino fucking guest starred in that movie. One of the worst movies ever. Was it Was it Al, Al Pacino's, like, Cappuccino or something like that? I'm sure like that. Oh, I'm Al, I'm Al, Al Pacino, uh, Cappuccino, uh, pay me Adam Sandler, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what movie is this? There's Hubie Halloween, which I haven't seen. That, so... I don't know how I feel about that movie fully because I watched it and I remember not liking it. But to be fair, I was I was either I think I was stoned. I was stoned when I watched it with my mom. So I, I remember like just not liking because like his character is actually like kind of a he's a little weird, but like he's very nice to everyone, but everyone just kind of treats him like shit. Mm. So I was just like, this is a very like mean spirited movie. <laughs> mm. There's pixels which fucking suck. That movie. I liked it when it first came out because I was like, I get that reference, but now I'm like, this is... Th that's a movie where they made Kevin James the fucking president of the United States. Which, I mean, at the time, it was like, what the fuck? That, who, who would ever let a president be like that? And now we're like, you know, it's huh. quite possible, really. And then there's we, the... we got Biden, we got Trump, so there's no... There's no in-between. There's no in-between. <laughs> it's over. Standards are set low at this point. So, there's also the reboot of Ryan Ren or not Ryan Reynolds, Burt Reynolds, The Longest Yard, but it has Adam Sandler in it, and Burt Reynolds also stars in it. Wait, which one? The Longest Yard. The that was a reboot? Movie. Yeah. Oh, shit. I didn't know that. Shit. Burt like Reynolds him. is classic, man. Hmm? He's like, he's like one of those classic actors. Yep. And then there's Little Nicky, one of my favorites. <laughs> I love Little Nicky. I haven't seen it fully, but like I've seen oh, bits dude. and pieces. It's hilarious! Okay. I showed you the uh, the pineapple. Yes, you did. Ass. That was the only scene like I <laughs> genuinely liked, but everything else I saw like I was just like, this movie sucks. It's it's where Adam Sandler really adopted the whole like, oh, I'm Adam Sandler, what you put you put up and you you blow it. That's good. It's one of my favorite. I forgot what movie that's from, but I love it. Good. You blow it. And then there's Mr. Deeds. With the Blackfoot. That movie... It, again, it's another one of the movies where, like, I inherited my family member's rich money, but, like, it's not a bad movie. I liked it. And, of course, Winona Ryder is a fucking win. Yeah. She's one of my... She's, like, one of the celebrity crushes, like, top five. One of them. Just one of them. Well, because I have, like, five. Haley Steinfeld, Haley Atwell, Elizabeth Olsen, Winona Ryder, and... I think that's five. I don't... That was, like, three. That wasn't... Haley Atwell, Haley Seinfeld, Winona Ryder, Elizabeth Olsen. That's four. I don't know who my fifth one would be. Mm. Mm. Well, anyways, go on. There's Anger Management with Jack Nicholson. I don't... I haven't seen that one. What? I know. I, I kind of want to oh, see it. Oh, dude. It's hilarious. It's a good movie. It's funny. And then I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. A classic. I'm, I want to see Chuck and Larry, too. What? I've, I've never seen that one either. Dude, no. Dude, you're fucking up. <laughs> you're fucking up. What are you doing with life, kid? You're living under a rock. Man, this is perfect timing. Is it perfect timing? Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, well, keep going. Keep going. There's uh, bedtime stories, which I liked as a kid. Damn. I, I, I still kind of do. Yeah. I still... It, if it's I mean, on, I'll watch it. I mean, keep in mind, I haven't seen it in years, so, you know, we'll have to see, but... Yeah, and then there's the do-over with... David that Spade. movie, that was dumb. I liked it. I thought it was... It had some funny parts. And then with, uh, with, the, with, what's his name? Yeah, David Spade. David Spade. Yeah, I literally just said it. Is there any more movies? There's Ridiculous 6. Okay. The movie sucked. We're going to have to... But I liked it. We'll, we'll okay. continue on the list next time, because I think... Is the timer up? Basically, yeah. Basically. All right. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.